Cite Them Right is a book and website designed as a comprehensive guide to referencing. It offers clear explanations and examples which are really useful. You can find copies of the book in your library and you can access the electronic version through your university library's list of databases and electronic resources. Once you arrive on the site, you might need to click Login and search for the name of your university in order to access all of the functions and content. The first section of the book and the basics of referencing section of Cite Them Right Online take you through the general principles of referencing and avoiding plagiarism. The book also contains advice about selecting your sources, paraphrasing, making notes and other key skills, and the website has a useful tutorial section. The rest of the book and website are devoted to advice about how to reference specific types of information, including books, videos, social media, official documents and much more. On the web version, click Browse Categories to start tracking down the type of information you want to use, but it is important to make sure you select your referencing style to ensure the information you find will be helpful. If you wish, you can select the referencing style before you start to browse the categories. If you select Books from the menu, for instance, and then scroll down to select Harvard, you will see a range of subcategories and options. For example, you could choose Collections and Parts of Books to find the advice about referencing a chapter from an edited book where the chapters are all by different people. The page will give you details of what needs to be included in your reference, followed by at least one example. Make sure you check on the left-hand side that you're viewing the referencing style you need, in this case, Harvard. There will also be a handy template which you can use to construct your own references. If you're not sure which category you need, you can search for the type of information. For example, searching for knitting takes you to the page for how to reference sewing and knitting patterns. Again, make sure you select the page for the correct referencing style. There will be options on the left of the screen to help this. If you don't find what you need straight away, Try thinking of other names for that type of information. The book is laid out in much the same way. General categories containing specific details about each type of information you might want to reference. You can use the index at the back to track down specific information types. In this edition of the book, for example, the information about how to reference knitting patterns in Harvard style can be found on page 102. The majority of the space in the book is given to Harvard style referencing, but there are sections for seven other frequently used referencing styles as well. It really is well worth getting to know how to use Cite Them Right as an invaluable guide to referencing throughout your studies. And of course, you can always ask the library team for advice as well.